Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and this video is an important one to watch because right now, Ethereum is in a deciding moment. If we get a bounce here or break this line, that will heavily influence what Ethereum is about to do next. I'll also be looking at some other important indicators and huge patterns playing out on the Ethereum charts later in this video. So definitely make sure you're watching this video all the way to the end so that you're not missing out on any of this important information. And just before we jump into it, make sure to drop a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, you might as well subscribe with notifications turned on so that you're not missing out on any of these future updates that I post every single day. But with all of that out of the way, let's get straight into what this video is about. It's right here on the Ethereum to US dollar chart on the four hour time frame. And as you can see here, Ethereum is still currently within this four hour uptrend. But at the time of filming this video, we are very close to this upwards trending line of support, which is right now coming in at around 4550. With the exception of this quick dip to the downside back here towards the end of October, Ethereum has held this upwards trending line of support very well for pretty much the last one and a half months. So if Ethereum really starts breaking below this level just here with confirmation, then that is potentially one of the first signs that we could look at for Ethereum possibly entering into a bit of a trend reversal. Now, keep in mind, all of this is still talking about the shorter term because we're still only on the four hour chart. Later in this video, I'll talk about some bigger timeframes. But right now, when you're talking about the immediate short term, if we break below this line of support, once again, at around 4550, then we could be due for more bearish price action coming soon. And one of the first major levels that I'll be targeting if we break this immediate line of support is this level just here coming in at around 4330 approximately. And that's because of two reasons. First of all, we've seen support there already. So we have already confirmed that level as support. But also when we're zooming out and bringing out the Fibonacci retracement tool from that swing low to swing high, what we can see here is the 236 Fibonacci level coming in between 4.3k and 4.4k. So that's one of the first levels that I would be targeting if we cannot hold this immediate line of support. But if Ethereum breaks to the downside, even if we see a bounce from that 236 Fibonacci level, then in that case, we would still not necessarily be looking bullish because as you can see there, a scenario like that could open us up for a head and shoulders pattern forming on the Ethereum chance. Obviously right now, this is definitely not the case. We haven't confirmed any sort of head and shoulders pattern right now, but I'm just saying if we break below this immediate line of support and start heading down towards 4.3K to 4.4K and see another bounce, that's when we can look at a potential head and shoulders pattern forming on the charts. By the way, for the beginners out there, a head and shoulders pattern is a bearish pattern. So in order to remain bullish, really, we just need to hold this upwards trending line of support, just like all of these other times. And then we'll simply remain in this four hourly uptrend. But if we break below this upwards trending line of support, and if we fail to hold 4.3K, then the next major level to the downside is the 38.2% Fibonacci level coming in at approximately 4,100 US dollars. And as you can see here, that's pretty close to this previous low back here. So those are really the immediate levels of support that I am paying attention to right now for Ethereum. And obviously those lower levels of support do not come into play while Ethereum is still holding above this immediate line of support. I've simply mentioned those lower levels just as support levels to pay attention to if we end up breaking below the immediate support levels. And even if Ethereum does play out a little bit more of a bearish scenario here, then I would simply be using that as a massive buying opportunity before Ethereum has more gains later on. And even right now, if we can hold above this upwards trending line of support, all of these previous times so far have been amazing buying opportunities. So a bounce here, of course, would provide a nice buying opportunity, but obviously that's not financial advice. That's just giving you an inside look of my strategy. And while we're here on the four hour Ethereum charts, taking a look at the 95 exponential moving average, because so far along this uptrend, this has provided pretty much perfect support for Ethereum. Even with that flash crash to the downside that we just recently saw, we found perfect support along this exact level. And right now the 95 EMA on the four hour chart is coming in at pretty much exactly 4,500 US dollars per Ethereum. So that is also a major level of support that I'm paying attention to right now in the immediate short term. And when you're looking in the price oscillators, so the RSI and the MACD, they are still trending to the downside, showing us that the bottom and a recovery hasn't necessarily been confirmed yet. But with that being said, the RSI and the MACD are closer towards the bottom than they are towards the top. So it's only a matter of time, most likely over the next few days, we're going to reach oversold areas in the RSI, for example, if we don't see a bounce sooner, which basically means that the price of Ethereum is due for a major bounce within the next couple of days, either at these levels, or if we break the immediate support levels, then we're going to see a bounce possibly within the next couple of days at one of those lower support levels that I just mentioned. But I will be keeping a close eye on the RSI and the MACD because those are two indicators that can really help confirm if we're about to bottom out and head back to the upside. But when you're talking about right now, once again, they're not giving us those bottom signals that we're looking for. So it's important to remain patient at the moment. And now zoom
zooming out to the daily charts for Ethereum versus the US dollar. And as you can see here, this is a huge Ethereum fractal that I've placed on the daily charts. And I've taken this from the last bull cycle back in 2017. As you can see here, that's the 2017 bull cycle. And that was one of the most bullish times in Ethereum's entire history. And what happened back then was basically we had an extremely bullish move to the upside in the first half of the cycle. And then towards the middle of the year, Ethereum topped out reaching an all time high of around $415. And we crashed all the way down towards around 130 US dollars before seeing a bounce all the way back up close to the all time high, but not quite there just yet. And then we saw another call off in the price of Ethereum and more of a sideways consolidation before then we finally broke into a new all time high and carried on with the bull market. So if you're comparing the last bull cycle of 2017 to what we're seeing right now, so far this fractal has been incredibly accurate up until around the middle of October. On almost every single dip and every single pump so far, this bull cycle has been following the last bull cycle. But right now we are ahead of schedule. We are actually more bullish right now compared to where we were back in 2017, which means that even if Ethereum plays out a little bit more of a bearish scenario here and we have a bit more of a cool off, then we'll still be on track to a bull market similar to the 2017 bull market. And by the way, if Ethereum continues to play out this bull cycle, just like the 2017 bull cycle, then that would potentially place a bull market top towards 14 to 15 thousand US dollars per Ethereum. But take that with a grain of salt because that is only speculation. Even though that can be a pretty solid price target for this bull cycle, don't take that as an exact price target because nothing is guaranteed in these markets. For example, right now, Ethereum is actually outperforming what we were seeing back in 2017. So if this continues, we could even see a bull market top higher than 15,000. Or if we were to simply stay on track for the 2017 bull market, we're gonna have to have a bit more of a call off in the price of Ethereum so that we can meet the same performance that we saw back in 2017. And I want to hear what you think about this fractal. Do you think this fractal is already broken due to the recent price action in Ethereum? Or do you think this recent price action is showing us that this bull market is even more bullish than the 2017 bull market? Or do you think Ethereum is about to see more of a call off moving forward to put us back on track with the 2017 bull market? Once again, just let me know in the comment section down below because I'd be really interested to hear what you have to say. And if you want to stay up to date at all times in these markets, make sure you follow me over on my Twitter. The link to my official Twitter is in the description down below. But that's just about it for this video. If you enjoyed or got something valuable out of this video, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. As always, I really do appreciate all of your support on the channel at the moment. I can't thank you guys enough. And for the new viewers on the channel, before you click off, make sure you check out one of these uploads if you haven't already. I've got a passive income video showing you how I earn passive income every day in the crypto markets. And I've got a trading tutorial video showing you how I trade crypto over on the Bybit exchange, which is one of the top exchanges that I use in my strategy. But anyway, that is really everything I have to say for this video. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.